What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a good day. Folks, we're going to have a look at an Apollo 8 photo. Now, this photo was taken on the far side of the moon. Also, keep in mind that Apollo 8 was an orbiting mission, and it did not land on the moon. What's funny about it, every time you see photos from the far side of the moon, guess what? They're always censored out big time. Like, it looks like mashed potatoes, just this weird crap going on in the photo. You'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. Once I started enhancing, I'm saying, I'm really not seeing a whole lot. And then it became obvious really what's in here. It's kind of like looking at uh, satellite photos of Earth, where you have, like, a countryside, a mm, few structures here and there, then all of a sudden you see a cluster of them. We're going to jump into that in a moment. Folks, I want to let you know we are on Discord now. Well, you can check that out. Let me show you that real quick. Now, you can see right here on the left-hand side, we have general chat, conspiracy chat, moon, and Mars chat. So general chat could be just about anything, right? Conspiracy chat is exactly that, anything conspiracy. Then, of course, it's more specific. We got the moon and Mars. Now, you can see right here, we're clicked on the moon. And what I left there was a enhanced photo of the moon so that you could click on it, like so, and have a look at it yourself. So if you didn't have enough time to see it during the video, you get to see it up here. Now, I put these on periodically. In other words, it's not going to be right after the video. So I'll put other things on there that could get your interest, and you can have a closer look at it yourself. Now, just like that, we have the Mars one, and this is the one we just recently done, and you can see that. You can right-click on it, and then, of course, save the image. So now you can look at it in more detail yourself, right? Now, I will leave a link to Discord in my pin post in the comment section so you can check it out. And folks, sign up for it, jump right in there, because it is like-minded people like yourself that are interested in all of this kind of stuff. And I might be jumping in there once a week as well and do a live feed in there. Just want to let you guys know about this Discord, so check it out when you have a chance. Now, here's the photo that we have. It is Apollo 8 mission image, and you can see right here, moon far side, right? And it says Apollo 8 far side image taken on Revolution 8. And, of course, it tells you the latitude and longitudinal position. It was taken with the 70 millimeter Hasselblad, which is pretty cool. You want to jump over here to the right-hand side and grab the TIFF. Now, this is the biggest one. You can see it's 48.6 or 48 and a half megs. You go to the aisle one, very small, and, of course, the torrent's only 3.9. So you want the TIFF. You want it as big as possible, okay? So this is the photo. Folks, look at this. Is this a joke or what? It looks censored out. I mean, what's the deal here, right? All right, so let's jump into Photoshop and check it out. You can see it right here. We did make it a little bit bigger. You can see from here... And we made it much larger because we want to really see what's in here. You can see where we balance it out right here. And, of course, we started getting into this photo more and more. And this is what we ended up with. Now, feel free to pause this any way you like because there's plenty to see. I'm only going to show you the bigger things and objects that are really sticking out. Now, again, adjust your eyes. Let them settle in. I'm just going to circle a few things here and there. Okay, let's go back. We have, like, areas like this here, which is really weird, right? Look at the size of these, if you want to call them rocks. Look at the size of them. Don't you think this crater would be much, much bigger? And they're not, okay? Now, keep in mind that they blend a lot of this stuff into the lunar surface. Like, things like here. Look at right on the edge of this wall of this crater. Is it possible that's a structure? Sure, why not? If they're actually mining down here, why wouldn't they? Here. And folks, again, pause this anyway, especially this area right here. Check this out. Look at this whole area right in here. Not only do you want to look at the, the brighter spots, but look at in between, like this right here. All these little pieces in between, very, very small and then, of course, you've got larger pieces like this here. This almost looks like it's on a square. And look at it standing up. It's like a mini tower right there. See that? You want to look at the smaller pieces, but in between as well. Again, in the darker areas. See how this is blended? You can see the shape of whatever this is right here. See that? You can see the outline of this. These right here. This. Now, let me slide over here to the right. 
And folks, like I said, look at inside this area. Have a look around. Notice that the so-called craters look like platforms and pads with things on top of them. Not something you would see like a crater, which you see here. It's concaved and sunk in. What you see here are things on top of these white pads or foundations, whatever they may be, right? We have something inside this crater. Rectangular pieces with black things on top. Now, this is where it really starts to get interesting as we go along. Stop moving up. Okay. Check this out, folks. This is awesome. Here. Just have a look. Pretty much the whole page right in this area. Again, we have things that are not so brightened up. And here's the thing, folks. We want to try to bring it down so that you can see the object better. If it's super bright, how can you make it out? Right? It's a little impossible to do that. But this is just a perfect example right here on how they literally put everything super bright and block it out. This area alone, inside here, check this thing out. You can see what looks like something here. It looks more like a constructed ridge around this, and there's something inside here. You can see that just the way it looks right in here. Okay. Pieces here. Now, let's go up here next to this crater. Again, this is where it starts to get really, really interesting. Again, look at the size of these things sticking out, and they almost look like a squarish pad or foundation as opposed to an actual crater. Okay? Have a close look at the smaller pieces again. Just random. I'm just circling random things. Now, again, as we get closer to this side, have a look at this area, folks. This is cool. Just have a look. Like all down here. Check out this little tower you can see right here. Check that out. Right there. And then it's pretty cool. The smallest objects people will tend to overlook. Now, again, we have these areas here. Right? These look like craters, are they? Form them in a square area, right? See that? Kind of looks like it's in a squared off area. Hmm. Down here. Check all these out right there. Pause it. Have a look. Now here, it starts to get a little bit more congested. Here. Check this thing out. It looks like this really weird, like, egg-shaped object. And you can see the white parts of it right here, right here. Look what they did, folks. They did everything they could to try to take this thing out. And you can see the way they drew over this and around it, like this, just to try to hide whatever it is. But you can see the shape of that thing. Okay? You can see the shape of that. Pull back out. Check this stuff out, folks. Move it out a hair bit more. Okay? Slide it over to the right here. And again, folks, check this stuff out. This is just cool. And it does give you that weird, cool feeling, but kind of airy at the same time, that if you were standing there, would you basically soil yourself? Because some of the objects are just absolutely awesome looking. And like I said, some of them look really, really scary kind of thing. It has an ominous look to it. This right here, I'm not even sure it's on top of this pad right here. I'm not even sure what to make of that. See the way this thing kind of goes up like this, goes around? But check out that object on top. What is that? See that? Go up here. Not sure what to make out of all of this mess right here, but check that out. You can see something right here. Not sure what to make of that. You can zoom into that a little bit. See that? Folks, anytime you see something white like this, different white pieces scattered, it's usually one whole piece right there. See that? Now, let's have a look at the background. This is pretty interesting as well. Check this stuff out. Check that out. Notice how we have this terminal line right here. I mean, how fake does that look to you folks? Be honest. Look at this. Let me take that away. Are you serious? Look at that. 
it just looks so cut off, like from here to here, right at this line, that you know this thing's probably standing up over here and like that and other structures and stuff like that. But what did they do? They pretty much chopped it off. And you can see these objects in here. You can see these straight pieces and all of these up here. Let's see what happens. Now you can see the lines right here, folks. All this stuff is in here. Now look at the black areas in between these white pieces. So what we do is we make this much darker, bring down the white areas if they're too bright. If they're very dim and not very bright, we bring up the brightness of them to try to balance it out. So you can see this much better, right? I mean, it's just the stuff in here, folks. Here we go, right here. Check this thing out. What is going on here? Notice if you zoom in just a hair bit, the way that thing looks, you know this is something much more. And you can see that the thing is like this, and it goes down like this, goes around. See that? I'm not sure what to make of this, if there's not more of it back here, but check that out, folks. What the heck does that? And look at the way it comes around like this. Comes down and drops down. Okay? Whatever that thing is, it's pretty darn large. You can see right here, very, very light. There's other objects and structures sitting right there, folks. Check that out. Look at these right here. These are cool. These are the ones that kind of give you this weird, ominous feeling, like these right in here. Look at that carefully, that area. There's one here, here. All of these slightly lighted areas, look at those. That's crazy. We got an object right here. You can see where they colored it over, block out half of it, and keep the other half just maybe slightly brightened up. But those pieces alone, again, if I look at this with my magnifier, that's crazy looking. Some of the little structures like this one right here, check that out. Just cool. Absolutely awesome. And again, this area alone, just pause it right here, folks. Right here. Have a look. Look inside the darker area as well. We can just see these other small items like right here. Right here, you can see it looks like a little square piece right there. See that? That's what we want to look at. We don't even know how big these things are. They could be insanely large. And like I said, this right here, this is pretty interesting because not only do you have this bigger one here, but look at the little one in the background here, right here, right there. And of course we have this larger one here, right? Check that out. And you can see it's like, looks like it's on a square foundation or whatever that may be. So again, try to make it so the lighter pieces aren't too bright so that you can see it much better, right? Something's going on here. I don't know if this has been covered up or something. You can see what looks like something going like this. You can see just faintly there's something right there. This appears to be sitting on this area. Not sure what to make of that. Or if it's something that's been blocked out, right? Folks, I'm going to leave this just like this. I'm going to bring it down right about here. Maybe scoot this over a little bit right about here. We're going to leave that like that. Folks, just have a look at this area. Absolutely amazing. You know as well as I do, these are not craters. The way these objects alone are sitting on top of something. They're not concaved, like you see here in this crater on the upper left. You don't see that. So you know as well as I do, this is not simple lunar landscape. There's much more to it. These are structures. You can see what looks like domes, what look like some things could look like spacecraft and things of that sort. But as always, you folks get the last say, and there you are. Folks, when I started getting into this photo, I thought that was awesome. At first, like I said, on the left-hand side, see some rather interesting items. You go up towards the left, up and towards the top, more crazy items. If you slide to the bottom of that largest crater in the middle of the photo, all on the bottom of it and on to the right of it, crazy looking structures. To me, without a doubt, again, this photo shows absolute evidence that there was a civilization on the moon. There's no doubt about it. And we've seen this time and time again through many photos. 
As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always interested in what you got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, wait until you see the next Mars one. I've covered this before, but not to this extent. In fact, I actually have two pieces from that area and then put them together so we can see a much wider view. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.